we're going to review uh, accounting categories, you just go to settings and uh, just go down and you can see accounting categories. Here you can see income categories, admin expense, they have already created the nominals. Uh, this is the nominal code and that's the description, that's the reporting type, that's the, um, you know, you can add it with it or delete it, whatever. So, um, um, they've already created it for us, cost of sales, assets, so all the categories, liabilities and equity. If I want to delete something, so what I do is that um, I just, um, I'll just, if I want to delete this one, right, so I'll just click the cross button and it will delete the category, right. If I want to edit it, I'll just click edit and I want to make any changes, I want to change the nominal code or um, I want to change the return box to any other boxes, I can select that, I can untick for taxes and um, I can change the description and then I can click save changes and it will change and um, if I want to change this I can't edit the lock anything that is locked because it's already locked by the free agent so I can't make any changes regarding that I can only change this part or uh, nothing else and then save changes I can't save change anything else right and uh, for example if i go to admin expense i want to add any expense so what i can do is i can click add new and admin expense right i can save chewing gum for example i want to i bought chewing gum for a fizz or whatever or maybe ice creams it was hot or whatever and then i can have the nominal code it's already there that's available i can just say office expense right and um i can say allowable for tax and create the category and I can see the category here, right? Ice creams, its nominal code is 200, right? So that's the office expense. So that's how it is. And um, that's how it works. So you can add as many categories as you want. And, um, you know, add, add cost of sales and stuff like that. So it's very easy to understand, I guess.